What's up, guys? It's Sebastian of TH1 here, and we have another press conference down the drain. We, uh, I literally have an hour to finish this video, but it should only take t 10 minutes? I don't know. There's a lot of coverage here. So, Xbox, Microsoft's E3 press conference for 2016, surprisingly, was very good. Um, however, I will say... Due to this new thing that I'm going to talk about when I get a little bit further in, it does still entail to me why the Xbox, why should I buy one? But let me get started. So, as soon as they start, they announced, they'll already leaked, but let's be honest, the Xbox One S, which is the Xbox One Slim, uh, it's 40% smaller, sleeker, okay? It has an IR blaster, has HDR. Uh, it's a 4K player, as well as being able to play 4K games, but not true 4K, it's upscale 4K. It has a vertical stand, it has a stronger controller, so it's able to have increased range. It's $299. They said something about it going up to 2 terabytes. Now, I don't know if 299 will give you the 2 terabytes, I doubt that, but just saying. And it comes out this August. But then they jump right into the games. Gears of War 4, we heard about it last year, but they introduced this new program, and this is the one I'm talking about. If you see a specific icon on Xbox games now, which looks like the Xbox One on, and a laptop above it, this is a program called Play Anywhere. You can play the game on both PC, on Windows 10, or on the Xbox One. If you buy the game with that icon on the box, you technically get two copies of the game. So, that's pretty cool. So, Gears of War 4 will have cross-play on PC and Xbox One. They had a live demo. They also had a release date, October 11th. They also announced an Elite uh, Gears of War controller, the Elite controller, with the Gears of War colors. Then, Killer Instinct's guy came out. I forgot his name. Um, I thought it was Season 3, but apparently it's not. It's uh, a new character, and this one's from Gears of War is from Gears of War 1 specifically, General Ram. It's uh, free this week to try. Next game, Forza Horizon 3. Now, everyone's flipping their shit for this game. I'm sorry, it looks the same to me from Forza Horizon 2 and Forza Motorsport 6. It does not look any different. Um, it was the World Game it Play premiere, and it was in Australia this time as the setting. Um, there's cross co-op, uh, not cross co-op, I'm sorry, co-op campaign available, uh, it's coming out September 27th, it does have to play anywhere, so you can get it on PC as well. The next game, Record, the one that got in tease last year, this time they have gameplay, and it doesn't look that bad, uh, it looks interesting, and it comes out September 19th, so that has a date. Then fucking Final Fantasy XV comes out on stage, and I have to... I just have to go, really? On Xbox's stage? Square Enix does not go on Xbox's stage for Final Fantasy. But they showed the first ever Xbox One demo. And uh, since we already have the date from that huge Final Fantasy cover event in September 30th. But they only showed the demo. It was a new demo uh, about the trial of the Titan. Where the Titan summon is testing Noctis and all that shit. It was interesting. It was cool. I, I, I'm excited for this game. I'm going to get it on PlayStation 4. Uh, Division. It's getting an update. June 28th. It's on the Xbox One version first. The New York Subways, a.k.a. the Division Underground Expansion. Then Battlefield 1. The same fucking trailer from the EA event. With If you have Xbox Live Gold with EA Access, you will get the game early on October 13th. And then they talk about Xbox Live for a bit. So they said, hey, you, so we're getting more servers, so it's going to be more stable, quicker. Um, they talked about how Rocket League so far is still only the Xbox, the only game that's Xbox One and PS4 compatible, but more could be added in the future. I'm waiting on it. Um, features being added, background music. Uh, they're bringing Cortana to Xbox One. Uh, they talked about extra Xbox Live apps on your mobile devices so you can connect wherever you want. Um, requested features that people apparently are asking for are, one they're adding is clubs, which is pretty much PS4 communities or Miiverse. So there's that. Um, 
looking for group functions. So if you're looking for people to play it with you on the vision, for example, or you're on Minecraft, you can make these little posts and people can join you. And then Arena, which is a tournament platform. So, for example, you can set up tournament events in Smite or anything like that. Uh, and they announced that EA Sports will be coming to Arena to, for that, that promotion. Then the Minecraft people came on, on the stage and they announced that the, the next update, the friendly update, will have crossplay. Now, here's my problem with that because they didn't specifically say this. But they said iPad, Android, and Xbox, and Win 10's people can cross-play. They didn't say if PS4 could. I highly doubt the Wii U can. But I would love that. but Or even the normal version of the PC version of Minecraft that isn't Windows 10. I highly doubt that will ever become cross-play considering the fidelity and the length and the overall achievement the normal version has over Windows 10. But, I would love to know if the PS4 version is cross-compatible. I doubt it, because they didn't mention it by name, but it's the Xbox conference. I doubt they would announce it, because they said other consoles. But, when you look at the video, and when you look at the trailer, it's not mentioning the PlayStation 4 still. So, you can't, and the trailer is actually saying, hey, you can play with anyone or on whatever they are. Well, that's not true if you can't play with people on PS4 or Wii U. So, fix your shit. Oh, and people on the Oculus can also do the cross-play shit, too. They also announced that Realms, which is already on normal Minecraft, by the way, is coming to console and mobile. Um, they don't mention this. But Realms is a pay service. Essentially, it lets you get a Minecraft server online at all times, a private server that you control. And again, they don't mention it. It's fucking a cost, a, a cost to it. Um, the trailer mentions the description, but on the sh the actual show floor, they don't mention it. So that's not that's not good. I don't like that. You should have mentioned that it is a pay service. Um, it opens today for people on iOS and Win 10, and I think Android as well. Uh, it's coming to consoles next year. They also announced texture packs will be finally coming to iOS and Windows 10. Yada, yada, yada. Um, add-ons, which is basically mini-mods, will be coming to mobile this year and console next year. Uh, and they'll have more information at Minecon in September. They also announced that my, uh, not Minecraft, um, at Xbox that they're going to be starting to do a new service called the Xbox Design Lab. On Xbox.com, you can now create custom Xbox One controllers. I think that's pretty fucking cool. So, there's that. Given if they're normal price to the Xbox One controllers, that'd be amazing. It, but they're probably going to cost more. Because, if hey, I wouldn't mind getting an Xbox One controller for PC. Uh, the next thing they showed inside, it's made by the developers of Limbo. That will be coming out June 29th. And then the indies all start, because technically inside was one of them. Um, to coincide with inside, though, Limbo, the original game from them, will be free for a limited time uh, uh, for people on Xbox Live Gold to get. So, here's some indies. I couldn't get them all. There was much more than what I listed here. But, for example, Cuphead, Atlas 2, Deliver Us from the Moon, Flint Hook, uh, FAR, which I'm going to say is FAR, um, Slime Rancher, Shadow Tactics, Fil Filament, Culling, For the King, Stardew Valley, uh, Hand of Fate, Bloodstain, Ritual of the Night, Ukulele, and much more. It was way too fucking fast for me to get them all. Oh my god. Um, they talked about how Ark Survival Evolved, if you have uh, the Xbox version already, uh, you'll get a, eventually in time, you'll get the free version of the Windows 10 edition. Um, they showed We Happy Few again, it was shown last year. Uh, very interesting, very Bioshock uh, esque. Uh, July 26th, it will be on game, uh, Xbox Game Preview, so if you have access to that, you can try it out. It's very, very interesting. I, I wish my squeaky chair would go away. 
Oh, uh, then they brought The Witcher 3 people from CD Projekt Red on stage, and I thought this was going to be, oh, is, are they doing an extra add-on? Because I know that one they did was supposed to be the last one, and, uh, oh my god, we're already 10 minutes in, and we're not even halfway through. Um, yeah, apparently they said, oh, yeah, we're announcing that that card game, mini game from Witcher 3, uh, Gwent, is becoming a full release game, because apparently people emailed us about making it a full game. Who? Who fucking asked you for that? What a waste! What a waste of a slot! It has single player cross play, but it had a date too and I didn't even fucking care to write the date because who fucking cares about Gwent? If it's in Witcher 3, you can fucking play Witcher 3, a vastly superior game, to play it! <laughs> really? Really? That's what you bring to a huge fucking press conference? Gwent! Oh, God. So then they bring out a trailer, which looks like the long dead Tekken X Street Fighter. Yes, the reverse of Street Fighter X Tekken. Because it's using Tekken's main as the main engine instead of Street Fighter. But it's not. It's apparently Tekken 7, but it has Akuma. I, I'm confused. Is, is there going to add more Street Fighter characters? Or is Akuma the only one getting in? But it's not Xbox One exclusive, just so, so we know, okay? Uh, there is a story mode, and all week, during E3, Xbox Live Gold members can get Tekken Tad 2 for free. Then Dead Rising 4, and Dead Rising 1's Frank is coming back, set in the mall in the town from the first game. It's coming this holiday. No date, but they have some gameplay, and it looks fucking cool. It's also a Play Anywhere game. Scalebound 2017. We actually get gameplay this time, and it's just introduced as a co-op mode. Play Anywhere as well. Uh, during this, the camera guy's being a fucking asshole, zooming in and out of the screen, thinking he's being all fancy, 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 but it's really just making it hard to see what the hell's going on. So, while the guy's being an asshole, they play a trailer for Sea of Thieves. And that's the MMO, Pirate MMO by Rare, that was announced last year. That still not a lot of people give a shit about. They showed a trailer with gameplay and live people playing the game. Which I thought would be YouTubers, but apparently it's not. I, I really don't know. I thought it'd either be streamers or YouTubers, but I don't know any fucking person in this trailer. Um, game looks fucking eh. That's all I can really say. I, I don't like the first person view, by the way. I would have preferred a third person view. Especially for an MMO. Come on. I know Elder Scrolls Online has a first person view, but it has a third person view too. So... Why? Anyway, State of Decay 2 was announced after that. No information, just a quick trailer. No gameplay. Halo Wars 2! Trailer, gameplay, uh, February 21st, 2017. The beta is live this week only. So if you have Xbox Live Gold, you can try and get in the beta. At the end of the conference, they announced Xbox Scorpio. It's the Project Scorpio, I should say. Um, it has eight CPU cores, six teraflops of power, 320 gigabytes of RAM, and it's coming next holiday. And I mean holiday 2017. Um... They said during it, all games will work on all three platforms for Xbox. The original Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and the Scorpio. Um, I doubt that. I really do, because let's say someone makes a really powerful game for the Scorpio. I doubt it will work for the Xbox One original. So, debatable. We'll see. Ah. Uh... And they announced it today because they wanted devs to get a start on the work. Anyway, that's really, that's, yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff. Um, yeah, much better than last year's shit. Oh my god, my voice is cracking up. Oh god. Much better than last year's shit conference. Um, still not perfect though. But it wasn't boring. I do think they had some throwaways though. Like, for example, you didn't need to spend so much time on Forza. It's Forza. It's a it's racing games. It's a car game. A car simulation game. 
Every year it looks the fucking same. You don't need to spend eight years on the fucking game. Um, and of course the fucking went that that was completely throwaway. You didn't need that at all. You could have fucking announced it on the side. You could have put something else in there. You could have showed Cuphead. Cuphead would have been a much better idea to put in that slot. I don't even care if it was indie. It looks fucking cool. But um. In general, that's that was Xbox E3 presentation. I would have to say if I have to give it a grade of ten, I think it was better than Bethesda. Um, I'm gonna give them a seven, or seven, yeah, seven point five out of ten because it was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. Um, yeah, I'm still not going to get an Xbox One. Especially since all this shit's like, oh, you can play it anywhere. Even Gears of War is play anywhere. Why do I need your fucking console? Why? I can buy it on the fucking PC. You're giving me that option. So I'm gonna do that. You fucking idiots. Uh. But oh well, I, I would have preferred to see a lot more crossplay between Xbox and PlayStation, since they're the one putting that up. They mentioned crossplay all over the fucking place. But most of the crossplay they mentioned, besides Rocket League, which we already knew, is crossplay between Xbox and PC, not Sony and Microsoft. So, whatever. I don't know what the hell they're doing with it. We're 16 and a half minutes in. Um, Ubisoft's next. I'm going to try to get this video out quick. There will be no Smash Brothers gameplay with this vid one, because i got to work on this really, really, really quick. Um, yeah. Uh, see you guys soon within two hours or three of this video. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.